Welcome back. We are doing the recording of 24th of November's God Blessing. And now, waste thoughts. They can take up our life, they can take up our space, they can take up our moments and they can waste our time. So, waste thoughts is equal to all of these things. We're going to explore why we need to recognize these waste thoughts. Second thing is how to finish them. And third thing is how to turn them around or to change them. So, let's go and explore what exactly this God Father ever say here. God says, May you be a knowledgeable, natural yogi and thereby understand, finish and transform all waste. Knowledgeful, natural yogi. That means waste thought should not stop us from being in connected with Supreme God Father. It's mentioned in most of the religious texts that every second should go in remembering Him. Not even a second should be wasted. Imagine, most of our time is wasted into why it happened, who did it, what did that person say, who's going to do it, why it's happening now and what will happen in the future and these are all waste thoughts and God is wanting us to remove these negative thoughts or waste thoughts completely one by one. So God says in order to become a natural yogi that means for us to be in constant connection with the supreme creator, the purifier, the energizer, the guide, the, the one who is going to give us immense infinite love and peace and happiness when people can't give us and that's why yoga with him or union with him is very very crucial. So God then says in order to become a natural yogi, keep your mind and intellect completely free from all waste. For this, as well as being knowledgeable, also become powerful. That means, let's say somebody says something in front of you about the third person. And you're like, oh, this person has got that habit of talking about others. Isn't that a waste thought? Right. So now, first is recognizing it's a waste thought. Even looking at faults in others. Finding out that somebody is negative, so somebody has got bad habits. It might fulfill our ego for a moment that I am better than that person or at least I am not like that. It is self-fulfilling ego, that thought. But then what happens is, if we keep on thinking about that negative aspect or impure aspect in the other person, it slowly, slowly enters through your eyes, enters through your ears and then it enters like a virus inside your mind. You don't even come to know when you become that same person. So whatsoever we keep on repeating in our mind, we become that, right? Same thing goes for your studies. Whatsoever you repeat, a formula you repeat, it becomes your own. You don't forget two into two is four right now, right? So similarly, over here God says that be very careful of what you're doing. You don't have the power to stop yourself from not thinking waste thoughts. Then it's going to enter like a virus in your mind and you won't even come to know when you have become the same personality of what you complain about. So God then says on the basis of knowledge, you can understand what is right and what is wrong. That means we have come to know what is impure thinking, what is pure thinking and that is what you learn in Brahma Kumaris. You get to know what is powerful thinking, what is lack of power. And you also get to understand what is waste thoughts and what are useful thoughts which can propel you towards success, propel you towards peace in your mind. And by the way, success in spirituality means peace. It's not something which you are comparing with money or accolades around you. So God then says, on the basis of knowledge, you can understand what is right and what is wrong and what something is like. Right? It could be a situation, it could be a personality, what something is like. However, you must not merge that inside yourself. Even if you're looking at something which is waste, even if you're looking at a habit of somebody which is waste, let's say somebody doesn't have the power to tolerate and that person keeps on talking about the other person, he did that to me, she shouldn't have done that to me or I'll take revenge or, and you listen to all those negative thoughts. If you don't have the power to filter them out, they'll become yours. And if you talk about them to others, it's going to become yours. So God then says, knowledge means understanding and someone who knows how to understand, how to finish. That means how to finish that thought and how to transform is considered to be sensible. So how do you finish that complete thought, a negative thought? By finding out through knowledge, through divinity that every soul has got a different role. Every soul has got different powers. Every soul should be shown mercy. And you change that. You transform that by having good wishes for that person. Let's say somebody is annoyed with someone. You can have good wishes for that person that made the soul have a lot of power and knowledge. Made the soul understand that every person's role is different. And it's all about climbing accounts. And if you're thinking pure and powerful thoughts like these for the person who has just done something negative in front of you, you are actually very powerful. Wow. 
why because you have discerned what is right what is wrong you have finished the ill feeling or negative feeling or whatsoever they were trying to tell you about the third party and third thing what you've done is you have given good wishes and good power that means you have transformed that impure thinking within yourself and also given a good vibration to that other soul so that that soul also stops repeating that waste thought in her or his mind it doesn't matter so now god says so when you sacrifice your wasteful attitude and wasteful vibrations you will be called a natural yogi natural yogi is someone who is not thinking about what other people say who is not thinking about what other people have been thinking and even regarding you yourself if somebody is complaining about you you can be thinking about it throughout the day and getting depressed about it right and that happens when you don't have spiritual powers that means you don't know yourself and to know yourself where is the best place you know it very well brahma kumari is called spiritual university go over there and learn this beautiful seven day course and understand who you are and what are your hidden powers with this om shanti